Hello everyone, Lady Phoenix here, and welcome back to some more Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. So, in the previous video, we made it somewhat or halfway through the Tombstone Trail, and come to find out Moccasin and Gascon was following us. And in this video, we're going to complete the rest of the trail and continue onward with the storyline, which we should not be far from the storyline, and I may want to go ahead and add another levitate and i just remember that we have an annoying puzzle to deal with as soon as we get up here so yikes that's definitely going to add on the time more than likely going to be a very long video ladies and gents but we'll be okay you should go ahead of us drippy Yep, and it's a uh, magical lamp, I believe. <laughs> magical. Been playing too much Zelda. Everything is magical. Well, you gotta do what the guy just said. Basically, you have to go to these um little candles here and cast magic lamp and run into enemies. Wonderful. But since it's the very first enemy of the video, I'll go ahead and show it off and then we'll start cutting. So it's just a couple of minutes after the part 38. I believe this is part 39, so. Get out of the way, Johnny. I can't see what I'm doing. Well, I'm kicking butt, but still, I'd like to see. <laughs> It's the same day and everything and whatnot. Ooh, and a base bell. I actually need a couple of those for alchemy later. So this place is designed to confuse you, and you do have to light all of these candlesticks. So be mindful of that. And I'll have you know that you do have to check every nook and cranny. Oh, well, I didn't like that one for whatever reason. I thought I was close enough. What the, the heck? I'm trying, but it will not light up. <laughs> Thank you. Now I have to cast Levitate because those traps are still around here. You can start guarding the chest, dude. What is wrong with you, Drippy? I wasn't trying to interact with you. Okay. Let's continue onward. You can get out the way, Wisp. If you value your life, I suggest you move. You will die. <laughs> so, like I said, just check every nook and cranny of this place. And you want to co come towards this way. And light the stupid... Thing. Thankfully, the magic lamp spell only takes one MP, so you shouldn't run out, but if you should, there's always a waste on towards the back that you can light up, well, go to, or interact with, I should say, and get your MP back. Now, I don't know if this is like on a timer, like, I don't know if after a certain amount of time, it will, I don't know if it will automatically reset itself, I am not entirely sure on that. Neither am I trying to find that out, so I actually probably need to pick up the pace just in case. Ooh, a new enemy. Come here. I want to show you off. I believe this guy is named Eggroll. Yeah, Eggroll. <laughs> I think it's so hilarious because, like, it has freaking tissue. Wrapped up in freaking tissue. And it got the little toilet paper thing just hanging on the on its back end which is hilarious to me nice and Johnny is still a happy banana buncher and another base bell awesome may need to grind here for base bells I know where to come to if I ever need them okay just have to make sure that question mark is up Wait, where's the spell? Okay. 
get this chest. Avengers badge, very nice. I do have to check my equipment before we go to the boss battle because I still haven't forgot about that clockworks cleaver. And this is the way out, but I don't have all the candles lit, so I, I'm not, I won't be able to get out. But if we check this place over here, we might be able to, to get out, hopefully. Hopefully I got them all. And I did. Well, according to the cutscene, you know, we can. Alright, but now that we have that together, where was it? Right over here, I believe, if you turn this. And you need to levitate again, good sir. We're almost close to another waystone. And did I show you off? No, I didn't. What are you? Come here. <laughs> is that the fiend? Yeah. the Actually, the girl fiend, which is a pun for girlfriend. <laughs> Uh, it's actually good for Swain as well. I I know I said the Wisp and the pre- Oh, whoa. Jeez, Curly. That wasn't pretty nice on the girl theme. But anyway. Um, I did- I know I did say that the Wisp is good. I'm pretty sure it is, but I know the girl theme is also very good as far as, like, compatibility with Swain. Nice I must be leveling up because it says zero, and I know for sure I used MP. Yeah. Ooh, an angular. It's actually a pretty useful thing. As far as uh, alchemy goes. Is it a chest or something? Uh, I think I can open that. I think it's blue. Yeah, okay. A devil's fang. I think that's kind of like a badge, so to speak. And get out the way. I don't want to fight you. And here's our second waystone. And our familiar thing. Because we are about to fight that boss fight. So let me go ahead and rearrange my equipment real quick. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, welcome back. I put the clockwork cleaver on Duke as well as the devil fang. And I also put the frock thing on Ariel here. Well, not the frock, the Misty Shroud. Also, I gave the Avengers badge to Tigger. And I also moved Magus in the second slot instead of having him in third because I do not want Esther to use Gogo -Go right now because Gogo -Go is not very strong right now. And we're just going to put Bubble Bath on him. So let's just continue onward and head upward because we do have a boss that we have to defeat. As with any dungeon. Oh, that was drippy. I was about to say, what the heck was that? <laughs> oh, this is Halloween. This is Halloween. 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 Okay, I don't know the rest of the words. <laughs> You're very brave all of a sudden. Actually, I want to start off with Oliver because that spell that the Emperor gave us is actually very handy. Arrow of Light. And that's actually what I'm going to do. Oh, you're going to use Snuff Out? I think that's on... Oh, that's on everyone. Okay, I wasn't sure if that was just me because there was a target. And it blinded me anyway. Oh, you jerk. Doesn't matter. Arrow of Light, 
on your behind. Oh, what the? What the? I was about to do it, but you kind of like canceled it out. You. Oh, I bet you it counted against me, didn't it? Okay. Let's just use Cory. <laughs> And since he's like frozen in steak. Oh, wait, why are you missing? Why are you missing? Wait, wait, what? Hit him. Thank you. <laughs> Everyone was like missing, and I'm like, wait a minute. Oh, I canceled it. Awesome. Good job, Cory. Ow. Okay, okay, bad job, Cory. Bad job. Retreat, retreat. Get the glimpse. Oh. Can I get the glimpse? Okay, can I? There we go. I just want a few glimpses because I'm too cheap to heal myself. <laughs> And I'm almost done with this boss fight, so. Boo. Well, I told them to defend. I don't know if they managed to get it. No, they weren't. Not in time, at least. But it's okay. They put out some high, highly defensive um, guys out. And I am getting effed up. And it has something to do with me being cursed. So I'm actually going to keep them on defend. Okay, you can go ahead and blind me. You know what? I don't even care. That's the reason why they were missing. I think I was still blinded. I think that was my issue. Stop beating up Johnny. That's not nice. Here, have an arrow. No, no, no. Don't hit me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Eat arrow. Not gonna get me this time. Good. Oh, that's not good. What are you doing? He he oh, oh God. Oh God. Heal. <laughs> They're still in defensive mode, so she's not gonna heal them. Esther, don't tell me you're dead. You're about to die. Okay. 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 Here, Swain, have a sandwich. Is there like a glim? Okay. Stop doing that, you, you a-hole. And Esther died. You know what? I don't even feel like healing you right now. Just go. Yes, now it's my chance. Now go, Swain. Just, just kill him. I need to get more Phoenix weapons. Go ahead, Duke. All right, Duke. Not too tough. Got a bit on the spamming side with those major attacks, but not tough. That never happened to me before. Oh yeah, I forgot about Swain. I forgot I could alchemize his new gun, I believe. I think I have all the materials for it. Crikey! Back for more, is it? It doesn't know what to give up! Hey? Huh? Huh? Marcusan! No, go ahead, Marcuson. So maybe he was pretending. All right, let's go inside. Totally not rainy tombs here. The legendary wand must be in here.
Look at that! What a beauty! It may be older than my mom, but it's still got a bucket load of oomph. So this is the legendary wand. Morinstar. Ah. You have done well. Who are hey. you? I am one who guides the fate of this world. And yes, it was I who summoned you here to this time. Huh? I had scant choice but to bring you here. For in your time, Mornstar has been... mislaid. For my boldness, you must accept my apologies. Know that countless trials lie ahead of you still. Steal yourselves and fix your sights upon your goal. Until the day when you finally arrive, I shall be waiting. He's gone. Yay, Mornstar! Oh yeah, breach time. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, Markson is so young and adorable. At first I thought she said princesses. I was about to say, er? How insulting. <laughs> Anyway, we don't have to go through the whole entire trail all over again. It should be a, like a teleport thing somewhere around here. I was about to say. Get my teleport thingy thing. <laughs> we do have one more scene that we have to trigger. So I'm actually going to go ahead and trigger that real quick. And then after we go through that scene... We're going to end the video. Hopefully, if I remember correctly, it happens outside of Hamlin. And what I'm going to do is, I think, I think once you go inside of Hamlin, you're going to trigger another series of scenes. So I'm going to save outside of Hamlin. That way we won't trigger any more scenes. And then in the next video, we will go back to our present time. And probably take on maybe one or two errands. I cannot say for, for sure how many because, well, we got a lot of cutscene heavy stuff we have to go through in the next video before we can actually be on our merry way. But for now, we're just going to head on over to Hamlin and trigger this scene before we do. It should be, yeah, there we go. He's living his little brother. Oh. No. 
they've been separated ever since then. Because this, like I said, this is like 17, 18 years in the past that we're still in. I thought she was about to just nag at him again. <laughs> Esther can be very pushy. Mm -hmm. That's a good way. Although the Gascon way and just that way in general can kind of mess you up. Like once you have your mind set on a decision... And you don't take change it that's good but at the same time it could be bad you know it can backfire but overall i think it's good like when you like taking a major test or something like that or like me i was just contemplating on switching jobs for like the past two three months now and i'm finally in the process of doing it and i gotta say i'm i'm liking it i'm loving the transition so far you know sometimes you just gotta do that in life Gascon. I like how she talk about talk about him like as it like he's a kid like she, like as if she's not a kid herself you know Alright, well, this is where I'll end the video, and in the next video, we will continue onward with our- Oh, hello. Goodbye. <laughs> continue onward with our journey. So, if you like the video, you know, I appreciate it. Well, actually, no. Blah. Let me start over. So, in the next video, we'll go ahead and continue onward with our journey. Um, if you would like to see more- uh, let's plays or weekend walkthroughs there's links in the description below linking you to those things but in the meantime i'll see you guys in the next video you guys take care and i'll talk to you guys later take care